disappointment and frustration. One of the legs is bent. I was looking at it, I think, yeah, I'm sure that's bent, isn't it? Or is that just the oil from the leaky seal making it look bent? But yeah, you know, I tried lining it up on the uh, decking. Uh, couldn't, still couldn't work it out, got a straight bit of wood. And uh, yeah, the left hand leg's bent. Start this video off with a negative. Mm, 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 mm. Pissed camera. Right. Front forks. <laughs> I spent hours packaging them all up. I mean, more than an hour. Wrapping them all up in bubble wrap and foam. And, whoops, steady Eddie. Um, I'll stick that one down there. And then boxed it all up, ready to send to um, what's it called, Brooks Suspension. And then I went online. I could I could tick the straightening button, although I got the got it wrong. It was 175 quid for um, upside down forks, 100 quid for conventional. So I thought, uh, all right, all right. And then I went to get to do the refurbishment bit, and it said that out of stock. I, thought, I don't know. It's all. GSXO, all Suzuki things. I didn't look at the other manufacturers, so I don't know if they don't do it anymore or they stopped doing it for the moment. So anyway, so I had a quick re-Google and found a place in South Wooden Ferrers, which is, I don't know, 10 miles up the road, called Abba Engineering. They do frame straightening, fork straightening. So I thought, right, I should go there. Actually, I found someone in Kent as well. I was going to drive there, but then I found this other one. So yeah, drove over there. Explained to him that oh, I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. Can he advise? And he looked at it and uh, basically said, uh, "Just junk, <laughs> just junk him." He said, "Well, I don't know if he just didn't want to do upside down forks. I think mainly do um, conventional forks." But he said the problem is because they're so like paper thin, although well, not literally. I said, even if you straighten them, they're still going to be sli slight oval. You're never going to get it completely straight, and then you'll just have fork seals will start leaking. Uh, I don't know. And and well, that's the other one, other thing. I should have a look, but I think he picked the good one. We only opened one up, and I'll, I should demonstrate what he did. How am I going to do that? See a lot of little movement there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna check this. I'm sure this is the good one as well. Right, anyway. Faff around. You talk man you know, man yourselves for a while. I can't even find the other one. What would I do the other one? Right, I'm trying to get that in about the same position. <laughs> yeah, this must be the junk tonic when I didn't turn it around. Yeah. <coughs> right, so uh, anyway, I've got a dribbly nose. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to, I'm not going to go and buy, go and buy a new set, am I? And I'm pretty reluctant to buy another set off eBay. 
So anyway, I've got. I'll have to go and Google it. He did say we can go to. Oh God. A B E B A B E. A. A B E. A B Engineering. I think I'll Google it in London. He said they'll stick just a new stanchion on. But usually, if you, if you have to buy them, you have to get the whole bottom bit as well. And they're like 500 quid each. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do, you know. Hmm. Well, it's not very nice out there. What was the date? 5th of November? Look at chick. 5th of November, you want me to this and it's raining and it's miserable right anyway <clears throat> well, you know which came to talk to me set number uh, well including the originals that are on the bike three and these ones are straight which is lovely I did have a I can't I bought it I did buy them off eBay in the end again by a uh, consulted, in, what's the I don't, I what word I'm thinking of now? Interrogated. <laughs> now that sounds a bit too much. The uh, seller makes sure that they're definitely straight. And uh, yeah, he said no, they're definitely, definitely straight. They come off a K6 that had just f fallen over or something, damaged the panels. And the seller decided to just to scrap it really. So uh, yeah, they're lovely. Um, yeah, obviously, the Al Fresco workshop <laughs> kind of came to an end due to unforeseen circumstances or, well, the weather, which I suppose was foreseen, really. Um, rear shock finally got on, bearings changed, which was yeah, easy enough. Oh, yeah, one thing I did find. The original rear shock, the bolt bolts into the shock. So I had to go and buy it, go go out and buy a longer bolt and nut, obviously, to get so it went right the way through. And yeah, got that in. I had to loosen the battery tray off so I could push it down to get the shock back in. I just didn't want to scratch the lovely new paint, really. Although I could have just forced it in, really, if it was just the original shock. Um, but yeah, mumbly mumbly. That's kind of where I'm at. So, so far, I've managed to take the wheel out, that's about it, really. I started working on the um, front mug guard, obviously, I'll get that out. But it was abs nuts are absolutely solid, so I left them to soak instead of swearing at them. Swearing at them. I'm thinking I'm going to have to buy, I haven't really thought this through at all, obviously. <laughs> Seems to be at my running theme at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to buy a new mug guard, aren't I? I'm sure that mug guard's not going to fit on the new forks. What an arse! That's an, that's an arse. That's his arse, arse. Arse. He arsey arse. I'm going to take the whole bloody binnacle thingy lot out. Headlong it. Perhaps I'll go and read the manual, see what that suggests. Ouch. What if I take the screen out? Well, that might be an idea. That might be an idea, actually. I could take the screen out, then I'll get a rat chip. On there. Okay, we'll try that one. I remember where I've put me at. Oh, I could. I still need that bit. I should get some ratchet spanners, really. Right. That's crap. Right, 
I don't get at everything else, can I? Just use an old spanner on there, can't I? I forgot what size it was now. Twilish. There's a will, there's a way. Right, now in theory, oh, don't tighten it up. I can't see. In theory, they should come out now. Or should give it a wiggle. Oh! Uh, Right. Uh, a bit scared now. Where in the hell am I going to put all this stuff? <laughs> right, anyway. Fork numero uno. I don't understand where this oil is coming from. Wasn't a very good time to cut out. I think it only goes for 20 minutes, isn't it? <coughs> oh! <laughs> ah! Daddy. Right, I got one. Don't know where I'm going to put that. We should put it over here. Right, is there anything attached to it? I thought there's something attached to this fork. There shouldn't be anything attached to it, should there? Don't wiggle the handle well as it'll come off. <coughs> no, right, that should come out as well. Oh! Uh, now, this one... Ah. Uh, that still seems to be tight. Oh, that's not very helpful. What have I forgotten to do? Now it's all heavy on that side, that's a pain in the ass. Arsey ass, ass. Oh, yeah, yeah that's good. It. Numero tuno. Ow, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of girth. Right, now. I think I think I'll go <laughs> I think I'll go have a break. Like a day break, a day, or probably next weekend. I don't know. Shall I just do? Uh, Brake calipers, what was that one hanging? I, don't know, I thought I tied them both up. 